In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Father. Good morning, good morning. Uh, today is the uh, memorial of St. Cyril of Alexandria. Uh, he lived in the middle part of the 4th century. He was the, the Bishop of Jerusalem and, uh, and had... Uh, had to deal with uh, the heresy of Arianism, uh, uh, which uh, in which uh, they forced him out of Jerusalem, I think, four times to live in exile. Uh, Cyril was uh, was noted for his preaching and uh, and writings. Um, he uh, provided education for uh, for catechumens for those who are entering the church at Easter, and so we call upon St. Cyril today uh, to help us uh, uh, listen to the Lord, especially during these times of trouble that are affecting our communities, our nation, and certainly our world. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the bishop, St. Cyril of Jerusalem, led your church in a wonderful way to a deeper sense of the mysteries of salvation, Grant us, through his intercession, that we may so acknowledge your Son as to have life ever more abundantly. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people and said, Now, Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Therefore, I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord my God has commanded me, that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations, who will hear of all these statutes and say, this great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law which I am setting before you today? <clears throat> However, Take care and be earnestly on your guard not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your memory as long as you live, but teach them to your children and to your children's children. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, God. be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. 
Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. He spreads snow like wool, frost he strews like ashes. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I believe many of the values that have shaped our lives, many of the beliefs we hold dear, were learned in one special place, the family dinner table which is, I bet, becoming a popular piece of furniture in your house these days. But at that table, many of us learned our politics. Father and mother and however many extended family members and guests held forth on the glories and evils of FDR's New Deal, JFK's New Frontier, LBJ's Great Society, and Ronald Reagan's Morning in America, just to name a few. But at that table, we learned our story. The journeys of our ancestors from small villages and cities across the seas to this table where our family now gathers. At that table, we first learned how to share and our responsibility to serve others before ourselves. At that table, we came to realize how hard our parents worked to provide all that was necessary for our growth and development. That table was also a place of affirmation, support, unconditional love, love given, love returned. At that table, my school project was as important as dad's new contract. My sister's role in the new play at the school was celebrated with the same joy as mom's birthday. That table was also the place where we first learned to live the values of the gospel. Gratitude, generosity, compassion, forgiveness. Despite whatever traumas or pains or grief we are now experiencing, that table was the one place where we always felt where we belonged, a place of safety, forgiveness, and welcome, the place where we could be family to one another. In many ways, the tables of our childhood were our first experience of the kingdom of God, the first place where we welcomed 
without fail, cared for no matter what, loved without condition. And so during the season of Lent, may the tables we make for our families today be places where we teach our children through our example and our determination and our conviction, the gospel of mercy, of reconciliation and compassion. We now lift up to the Father our many needs and intentions. For all leaders in the church, may Christ, the source of their wisdom, strengthen their hearts as they teach God's law in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those responsible for public policy, may God guide them in enacting laws that uphold the eternal law of truth given in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those oppressed by any evil in the world, may Christ bring about justice and sources of healing for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are gathered to view this Mass, May the Holy Spirit give us wisdom to understand all that God teaches and the grace to receive Christ's help in our moral struggles. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they rest in the perfect peace of God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. hear our prayer. For Sandra Kern, for whom this Mass is offered, and for those silent intentions which we lift up from our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we offer you these prayers, knowing that you will answer them according to your holy will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer you, fruit to the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Mm -hmm. 
Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, on this feast day of St. Cyril, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion may imitate what we now do through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you forever. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom, for our sake, you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when he's about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy. He gave the chalice to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also, together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very spirit who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, with all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, the martyrs, Saint Cyril of, Alexand of Jerusalem, and all the saints, with our sisters and brothers, 
and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We pray the words that Jesus himself once prayed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith and courage of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. John writes in his gospel, Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. 
Whoever remains in me and I in him bears fruit in plenty. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, nourish in us that faith taught by the preaching of the apostles and kept safe by the labors of St. Cyril through Christ our Lord. Uh, A quick uh, reminder, um, uh, there is no adoration today. Uh, We will be having work done in the church, in the sanctuary, and also in the narthex. So again, as a reminder, no adoration today. And uh, uh, that will continue. Uh, We will have adoration after Mass on Thursday. So the Lord be with you. We call on you, O God, a resolve that is pleasing to you, for by confirming your people to your teachings, you bestow on them every favor through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everybody. Thank you.